Jenny Kalma with Paper Cardinal. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm going to share a scrapbook layout for uh, Tonic Studios. I'm going to be using a lot of the Pink Fresh Indigo Hills collection and um, a few Tonic supplies that are um, paper scrapbook related and then mostly a pile of Tonic tools which um, I'll talk about as we come through them. That's the Pink Fresh 6x6 pad. This is a lovely um, mirror satin cardstock in burnished rose. And I'm going to use some of these um, new, they're Pink Fresh, but they're the holiday collection die cuts. This is an old Pink Fresh um, gold rub on sheet. This is another new Pink Fresh um, holiday uh, gold thicker stickers. And um, then these are the papers which kind of inspired all of this. I love the color of these papers. They're some of my favorite colors and um, the patterns. And I love the way they went with that um, satin rose cardstock. Um, so I, I, honestly, I love them so much. I can't decide which one I'm going to use at this point. And I can't, I can't bear to cut any of these um, large pieces up. So those are the three main ones I'm looking at. And I also have a piece of white cardstock and a piece of this sort of dove gray cardstock as a potential um, border background. And this is the one I'm kind of leaning towards most at this point, this one with the leaves, um, because I think it frames it nicely for a picture. It's a picture of my husband and a friend of ours in black and white. And these are leaves I cut out with my Silhouette Cameo um, from a tonic uh, watercolor card stock that's really nice. All right, so it's sped it up here, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, at this point, I'm still not quite sure which uh, background piece I'm going to use or how I'm going to do it. So I, I just trim off the end of it all with this. Um, it's the tonic guillotine. It's the the large one from Tim Holtz, and it's got that little kickstand that comes off at the end, so you can cut 12 by 12s. And it is a really um, a really great paper trimmer because you can push down it's sort of like a natural instinct for you to push down and hold it while you um, run the trimmer over which helps protect your fingers and um, here's another new favorite tool it's the new uh, Tim Holtz serrated scissors and these are the large ones I think they're nine inch we have so many of the Tim Holtz scissors around our house because they cut everything and they're so great but these since these are new they cut the paper like I mean, it's just beautiful. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to mark the new ones in a way that nobody gets to use them except for on paper. <laughs> um, so that's that satin burnished rose. Um, it's got a bit of a glare on it, but it is a beautiful color and it goes so perfectly with this collection from, um, from Pink Fresh. So I've cut a co couple pieces of, um, papers from the six by six to use, um, just trying to back up my photograph a little bit. And I like this one because it had like little graph lines on it. And I thought I might use it for journaling, but I end up um, using a tab punch on it. Um, it's a really old tab punch. I think it's Ginny Boleyn. And I use that on a couple of different ones just to um, add some of that paper and then to have a place to write the date and stuff. So, now I'm going to, I mean, that's pretty much kind of what I'm thinking about that. Um, now I'm going to take these um, leaves that I've cut out. I believe it's a Paige Evans die or um, cut file. I'm not sure about that completely. I'll, I'll um, find out and list it in the, the uh, description. But they are um, just different leaves and a little cluster of them, which are my favorites. And they're out of this... Um, the watercolor cardstock from Tonic Studios, which is um, a nice and it cuts well too. So I'm going to paint those with um, just a, a Winsor Newton set I have, and I'm going to paint them to try to match a lot of the colors from the um, from the paper there with the leaves. I wanted to be able to layer on more leaves and be able to tuck them behind the picture and and kind of pull that out of it. Um, 
I really love this set from, uh, or this, these color collections from Pink Fresh, and I, I, I really wasn't quite ready to commit to any Christmas, um, any Christmas, uh, projects yet, so that's, this is sort of my last ditch effort for a, um, a little bit of fall before I dive into Christmas stuff. So, um, I keep it pretty light. I'm just gonna go for some of these, um, sort of muted purples and lavenders, and then um, do a couple pieces of the kind of, it's kind of like a lemon yellow, and a, there's sort of a chartreuse green and this sort of gray color. I wanted to um, pull out basically the same number or, you know, same idea of some of the, like the main colors in the leaves that are there. So like the bigger group ones will be like the bigger purples, and then there's like a couple little peaks of yellow and a couple little peaks of um, other colors. That one leaf that had I did like a navy and purple on, I really liked. I wish I had kind of mixed up the colors a little bit. But uh, So now I'm going to just work on this photo cluster and try to come up with something I think is um, is good. I do decide to go ahead and put on some uh, foam tape on the back of my photo because I knew I wanted to pop it up. So um, I add that and I'm pretty generous with it. Um, shockingly, this roll that was enormous has gotten pretty small. So um, I'm going to have to get another one eventually. But that's, um, that's always something I usually try to do is to pop that up. So um, I... Uh, I think I'm going to let this, um, I still need to let those dry. I think I ended up using a heat tool on them a little bit, but I wanted to let them dry a bit. This is an old tag I've had. It's actually a, and I can't remember who made it. It might, it might be canvas core. It might be, um, jelly bean soup. Um, but it is a canvas tag and I'm going to use it in a minute. You'll see. So, this is where I pull those off of that watercolor paper or the sort of my scratch paper so they don't get too um, too mired up in all that water. And I'm going to use my um, sort of embossing powder tool there. And I meant I wanted to use the copper blush tonic uh, embossing powder, but it was a little bit too brown and not pink enough. So I used the um, I used this Lawn Fawn Rose Gold embossing powder instead, but I did use that embossing the ink pad from uh, Nouveau. And I didn't know how, quite how it's going to work because the canvas is obviously a fabric and so it was very porous and I really had to lay on that embossing ink well and then um, heat it up for a while. But I like the way it turned out. I just wanted a little bit of something um, to kind of tie those colors in on that tag. Um, so. Now that the leaves are mostly dry, and there's my tag dry, I'm going to try to figure out how to put um, all of these pieces together. Um, one of the um, one of the other tools that I find very helpful that's part of the new um, the new collection of things that I've gotten from Tonic are the um, adhesives. Um, mostly this, the deluxe adhesive that's like a, it's a liquid glue adhesive, so it gives you time to kind of get things, you know, in order. They also have a tape runner, um, which is great. It's just, you know, it's a pretty um, heavy duty tape runner, but I, um, I really like li the liquid adhesive and the glue, um, pens and they have glue pens in so many sizes which is what's great they have the super large like enormous size um, they have a medium size and then they have a it's called a smooth precision pen so that smooth precision pen is perfect for things like um, these leaves so um, I'm trying to pull out some other stuff I might use some of these vintage drops and um, I decide I want to add a little bit of color or something behind this photo cluster to ground it a bit. And in the end, admittedly, it didn't turn out as dark as I thought it might, but I used this uh, Nouveau Mica Mist in the Silver Smoke, and I was afraid it might be too gray, and it, I mean, it really wasn't. It just, um, I thought it might 
give a little bit more to the background. So I sprayed a couple sprays on there and then um, dropped some splatters on there and um, just used my heat tool to dry it out. It did add a nice little sheen to it because of the mica in it. So there's some nice glittery things going on and it does add a little bit of just you know other pattern behind it that kind of blends in so well that you wouldn't see it <laughs> um but I really I, I mean I couldn't bear to cut up this this paper I just loved it too much so um so now I think I'm going to start layering here um and go ahead and start adhering things down so um I've got the, the that's this tape runner which is called the funky tape runner I'm not sure why it's called that but it's um it's great because it's bright green and I never lose it um which I tend to do if I have a lot of stuff on my desk so I just start layering those two papers and um my photograph and then start trying to figure out how I'm going to tuck these leaves together and kind of spread them out so the colors are you know balanced and I, I messed with that for quite a while. One of the, um, I did want to use some of these die cuts from this uh, little ephemera package um, from Pink Fresh that are Christmassy, but. Um, I thought they had a lot of kind of similar colors and they had a lot of gold and the sort of metallics I was looking at. And I really wanted to use these little sort of lights that are, you know, kind of twinkle lights that are in a little banner. And um, I just couldn't decide how they would kind of come together. So I end up not using those. I do use a couple pieces from it, but not as many as I had originally thought I might. Um, and I really love this. Uh, these gold pieces too and I had thought I might use a lot of the leaves they're kind of they kind of look more like um, well, there's some holly leaves and there's some sort of fir tree leaves but I decided to grab this little wreath piece and I end up cutting it in half and using each side of it and then there's a little um, die cut tag um, and I think I use a little die cut piece of um, another piece of little leaves so um, now I'm going to go ahead and commit to putting my photograph down. That's the, I think that's the medium glue pen um, that I used to put those little um, tab cutouts that I made. And I'm going to start trying to, there's one of the little die cuts that it's gold. I'm going to start trying to commit to um, the placement of all these um, embellishments. I did pick out one of the words from that pink fresh gold um, thicker sort of word sheet and I picked out the word cheer. Um, this is a photograph from a good friend of ours that we went and had dinner with and um, this is the three of us in her kitchen. And it was a super fun night and um, I haven't done a lot of scrapbooking lately. I've been doing a lot more card making and uh, mixed media stuff. So uh, it was really nice to scrapbook something that had just happened like within, you know, the last couple of weeks and it um, made me kind of miss that. So anyway, um, that's sort of, I think that's the precision glue pen. And then on the bottom of this, because it's that, um, that satin piece of paper I use some of the deluxe adhesive that's a liquid and then some of the um, the tape runner there and I decided I'm going to use those bits of the sort of wreath piece kind of to anchor both the top and bottom right corner kind of in line with the sort of pattern of the leaves of the the way I've got the paper oriented so I'm just going to keep messing with it until I kind of get happy with the way things are going to turn out. And it's a pretty simple layout. There's not a lot to do because it didn't change a lot of the background. Um, I really, uh, you know, like I said several times, I just couldn't bear to um, cut up those leaves and the background piece. So I did just kind of try to add my leaves on top of it and a little bit of color to change it up a bit. 
That's one of the little um, die cut tags that's gold that I'm going to put there to write something on. And um, then I believe I'm going to start putting uh, some of the some rep ons on here. Oh, I did write the date there. And then I write what we were doing. And um, add a little gold heart there to that other tab. So here's a sheet of rub ons. And they're from a very old um, collection I've had. These are sort of like, kind of look like petals or leaves. Um, so I just kind of rub them on, you know, all around the, um, all around the layout, all around over the top of everything and had decided I was going to use some of the vintage drops next to it or kind of like, you know, like a berry or the flower. And then I did add sort of another little saying underneath my uh, main title that just says what a day and from that gold um, rub on sheet. I have another um, color of navy mist that I'm going to just add some more splatters on top of to give it a little bit more texture and add a little bit of a pop there of a darker color. And then um, I've got these two colors of the vintage drops, the Bonnie Blue and the, um, I think it's Dusty Pink. And that's what I'm going to use, um, Dusty Rose. And that's what I'm going to use there. And then that's the post office, post box red. And I just use those around different places next to all of the little gold rub ons. And then in a couple other little places where I thought um, it could use a little bit of color. And those colors match pretty perfectly with the layout. So, um, so I'm just trying to spread that color a little bit around. I think that's it. This is the final um, product here. These are the close ups. And you can see that mica mist there, the nice um, shine that it gives, and that beautiful satin pink color from that um, mirrored cardstock. Um, thanks so much for stopping by and checking it out. There'll be a complete list of products in the description below, and I will be back with another video very soon.